Now, the deadly attacks have been sending shockwaves across Asia, as this is the first time the Islamist terror group has claimed responsibility for attacks in Asia. We are going to connect now live with veteran journalist and CEO of Indonesia channel, Dalton Tanonaka, uh, in Jakarta, to find out more. So, Mr. Tanonaka, thank you for joining us. Sure, Mark. We've just been looking at the footage of the attacks. It's terrifying to look at. It still must be extremely tense there. You know, just past the rush hour here in Jakarta, normally the streets are flooded. You know, you know the traffic problem we have here, but traffic is relatively light this morning. Um, people still jittery over what happened yesterday just before noon. Um, but what we sense here on this day, on this Friday, is that people are, are saying, and you're seeing T-shirts pop up, social media, that they cannot deter Indonesians. They cannot scare Jakarta residents. There are many slogans out going around on social media, we are not afraid. So if the attempt was to strike fear um, into Indonesia, uh, many people are saying the attackers failed. Uh, Mr. Tananaka, the, the, the authorities say that the assault might have been an attempt to imitate the terror attacks. Uh, in Paris, considering the attacks are actually going on for a few hours, um, are you surprised more people weren't actually killed? Well, Mark, that, that goes to the point where, and I don't want to encourage anybody to, to, to try to replicate this, but the, the fact that of the seven people dead, five were attackers, two were bystanders uh, in, a, in a coffee shop, shows that even though it appeared to be a coordinated uh, explosive and gun attack, they weren't very coordinated because they didn't accomplish what nowhere near the scale of Paris or even Mumbai seven years ago. So, it, and the weapons they used were very low level. This was a very weak attempt to, <clears throat> to imitate or duplicate what happened in Paris in November. Well, Mr. Tananaka, thank you very much for your time. Stay safe and uh, we'll hopefully connect you at uh, a happier time further down the road. That was sure. um, journalist and CEO of Indonesia channel Dalton Tanunaka on the latest fallen terror attacks in Jakarta.